Hello, my marvelous muses. How are we doing, guys? So, tonight, uh, before we get started, we're going to talk for just a minute. Uh, a lot of people last night when I talked about my eyes, which, they're better today. They're not perfect yet, but they are way better. Uh, I woke up this morning, they're still puffy and red, but yesterday, it was like way down on my cheeks today. It's just under my eyes. And a lot of y'all had expressed concern that you thought maybe it was due to the resin. Well, I had I had kind of thought of that, but I was like, you know, I've been working with resin for two years. Um, <clears throat> I have full face PPE. I have fat, half face PPE. I have goggles. Um, I wear my gloves. Ninety nine point nine percent of the time, I wear my gloves, but I don't protect my arms, and I don't wear my PPE when I'm doing resin. Mainly because, for the two years that I worked with it, I sit at arm's length from an outside door that is open. Well, recently, I got thinking about this, recently it's been really, really hot here, and I don't have an air conditioner in this room. Our only air conditioner is in my bedroom and in our living room. So, in order for Cody's room and this room to be cool, Cody's door has to be open. Well, when Cody's door is open, my room out here is tolerable. It's not bad. And in order to keep it from getting really hot, I've been shutting the door. When I work with the resin, I haven't been closing, I haven't been opening the door like I usually do. I do sometimes at night because it's just nice to have that cool breeze. But during the day, if I come out here during the day and it's hot and I'm working on a resin piece for the nightly video, if it's, if, Cody's door is open and the air is on, I tend to keep my door shut, which I hadn't done previously. So, you guys got me thinking. I went in online and I looked at some videos, and I know Steve McDonald has an allergy to resin, so I go over and I look at his video. Uh, it looks similar to what he had, but when I went to this girl's video, I can't remember her name, anyway, her video was a year, about a year ago. She posted a picture of what her eyes looked like, and mine look the same. Don't know if that's what it is. We're going to run a theory here. We're going to run a test. So for the next week or so, week, few weeks, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. If they start clearing up really quick, because I'm not messing with the resin, I'm going to, I'm going to wait till they heal up completely. And uh, I'm going to see if they start healing because I'm not working with resin. Uh, I'm going to do some different stuff this week. I'm going to do, tonight we're going to do the Perma Stone. I don't have any mix of mold or any of that stuff. If I can get to somewhere to get that, I'm going to try. Um, I may just have to order something off of Amazon. I don't know. But we're going to try doing some casting powders. Uh, I may do, I haven't really done, I've done stuff on my Cricut, but I haven't done like greeting cards or anything like that. So I may do like cards on my Cricut. Uh, I also may do... I've got a apron that I need to make, an iron-on, that I need to make for someone. And I have the iron-on vinyl, so we may do that. I may do that, show that. Uh, I also think, I was going to wait till I could get to a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, but I think I may just go ahead and go on Amazon and order some acrylic paint. Uh, and then we can do some, because a few of y'all said you'd like to see some of the acrylic paintings. So, we may do some acrylic painting videos. I also used to do beaded jewelry, wire wrap jewelry, stuff like that. Well, I have got a ton of already pre-made, don't have to do anything to them, resin pieces that I've poured extras. I've got a bag full of extras that I've poured that I could come in here and do some beading to them, wire wrapping them. Uh, I'm not going to mess with UV or regular resin for at least a week. We're going to see if this stuff clears up. If this stuff starts to clear up, then I'm going to kind of know that it's probably the resin that's doing it. And I'm going to PPE up. I ordered me some sleeve protectors, that like plastic that goes over your arms. I ordered some of those. They'll be here Wednesday. Uh, I do have to order me some more gloves. I bought a box, but I only bought a small box, so i got to order me some more. Uh, and I will start using my full-face PPE. I love resin. I don't want to give it up if I... Don't have to, and if all it takes for me is to wear that PPE full time, then I'm going to wear it full time. It's also going to 
won't be long here in the next couple months. It's going to start cooling off out here a whole lot, and it won't be too bad. But I'm going to wear it when I pour the resin. I'll go back in the house, away from it, and I'll be fine. Uh, it's only the uncured resin that messes with you, really. Um, and like I said, I think that's because I've I've shut this door the past month, two months, probably two months, maybe three months. I've shut this door anytime I'm out here during the day. And even then, if I'm out here very long, it gets hot. But if I'm out here for 30 minutes, it's not too bad if I keep the door shut and the air is on in the other room. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. So if you guys don't want to watch for the next couple of weeks, I understand completely. Uh, not usually what I do, so I get it if you don't want to hang out for it, but I really appreciate it if you did. Also, anybody, if you're new here and don't know, also a lot of y'all that are here, uh, voting starts tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, voting starts tomorrow for the contest that I've entered, and it's called uh, The Face of Horror, and it is for a chance to do a, like an extra, be an extra in a movie with Kane Hodder, who is Jason Voorhees on Friday the 13th. So... I am going to post the link. I'm going to put it right here in the description. I mean in the video. But I will also post the link. You cannot vote until tomorrow. But the link will be there. From here on out, the link is going to be in my description box every day. So, I'm just going to permanently put it in there until the contest is over. And then I'll take it out. But it's going to be toward the top of the description box every time you open my description box up. I don't know how often you could vote. I'm sure if you go there tomorrow and vote, it's going to say, oh, come back every day and vote. Or you can come back once a week and vote. Or you, this is the only time you can vote. But please, guys, go give me a vote. So, that being said, tonight we're going to do... I'm going to try. I don't know. I've never done this turtle in anything like mixed to mold or anything like that. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get his head out. That's the only thing that worries me is if I'm going to be able to get his head out of this... Mixed to mold. So, we're going to try it, though. Fingers crossed it works. Um, and what I plan to do... Oh, let me grab it here. Hang on. I have this copper stuff here. I'm going to put some of this down in his shell. And kind of brush it on spots on his shell here. And then we're going to mix up the mixed to mold. I'm not mixed to mold. Permastone. And I'm going to drop in blue acrylic ink. And it came from Nerdy Crafter. Same one that the Permastone came from. And brown. And I'm going to drop those in. Kind of give it a quick stir. And we're pouring it in. So we're going to do blue and brown with a copper with copper accents. And we're going to see how it turns out. Uh, we might also do some beading. Oh, I know what else we're going to do. I have the owl. The wooden owl. Uh, we're going to do some embellishments to him. Um, maybe painting first and then maybe uh, attach, like, maybe we're going to put some washi tape on him or something like that. Maybe some paper, do some decoupage on him. And maybe even some beads on afterwards. So, or uh, some little gems on afterwards. So, we're going to do a bunch of fun stuff uh, here for the next week or two. And, like I said, we're going to see how my hands look. We're going to see how my eyes feel, and we'll go from there. But I am, I, I'm going to look out for myself, guys. Like I said, I really am. Uh, if this is not better, to noticeably better by Wednesday, I will go to the emergency room. But I, from yesterday to today, it is noticeably better. I see a huge difference. So, and believe me, I've been looking at it quite frequently. So. All right. So we're going to use this cup here. I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't want to. Actually, I'm going to. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Before we do any of that, we're going to put this in here.
wants us to go everywhere, and I know it's going to. All right, perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to mix this powder similar to the way you mix the pretty much any of them. And then they're going to be a three to one ratio. One part water to three parts powder. So we're going to do almost a full cup here. It's pretty close of water. And we're going to do three of the powder. It's very hard to get in here and get this. I was going to try to pour the powder, but I can see me spilling it everywhere. Alright, so there's one. Okay, I'm going to stir this. So I'm not trying to stir it all in one go. I don't want it to clump up on me. All right. I'm going to do a second scoop here. Okay. okay we're going to stir again. Feeling pretty. Kind of what it needs to. I'm going to put just a little bit more in. I don't think I need a whole cup. And I don't think I'm going to have enough in this batch here. I may have to make a second batch. I don't think I'm going to have enough to do, uh, to fill the whole mold. So we'll see. All right. it up really really good I'm gonna do one two three four five five drops and then we're gonna put the stick over to this side and we're gonna do five drops of the brown there we go and then we're gonna swirl through it just like that. Huh. 
Wow. Very close, guys. I mean, like, super close. If I can scrape this out, God's gonna... I may not have to mix anymore. That's, yeah, it's so almost there. All right, I may have to mix a little bit more up. Yeah, I'm going to mix a tiny bit more up here. I literally don't need much at all. Okay, that ought to be enough. I'll be right back, guys. What's up, what's up? Alright, we're back, guys. Sorry about that. My neighbor had to come over and tell me. I made a tumbler for a friend of hers and uh, her co-worker. And uh, she had to come over and tell me that the lady texted her afterwards and was like, Oh my God, thank you so much for the tumbler and the flowers. Or the cup and the flowers. It was a coffee cup. It was like a last minute thing. She told me ahead of time, which wouldn't have been a bad thing, but we didn't know any, she didn't know anything about what this lady liked as far as, like, what does she like, colors, anything like that. She liked flowers, birds, dogs, what, you know. So we found out that she liked green. And I was like, okay, how creative can I get just knowing that she likes green? And I'll tell you what, guys, it turned out really nice. I'm going to have to try this technique again on something because I really, really like what happened. I didn't film any of it. Like I said, it was a rush job. All right. That color is gorgeous in there. Gorgeous in there. So I need something here right quick to pour into. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can get him out of there. We're not going to do him. I don't know what to do here. Whoops. Something quick. Uh. Okay, we'll do this lid. I don't know if we're going to have enough to do it, but... I like this stuff, but boy, it can be messy sometimes. Alright, that's not full enough, and I'm not worried about that. That wasn't what I was pouring, so. Alright, we're going to let this cure, guys, and I'll be back when it's time to demold them, and we'll see what we got. See you then. Bye. Hey, we're back. So it's been about three and a half hours since I've poured this. So I'm hoping it's cured enough. It's not hot anymore. The only thing I worry about really bad is this head. 
And I didn't check to make sure I had his tail either. Oh, I've got his tail. Hey, his head came out. All right. I'm going to brush any of this extra here off. That for whatever reason didn't stick. Well, that turned out kind of cool, actually. So we got here so far. He turned out really good. Okay, so we're clearly going to put eyes on him. Uh, and I kind of feel like we're going to do some gold. Gold trim around him. Or copper trim around him, maybe. Yeah, copper, because we already did the copper on here. So maybe we'll highlight his shell with some copper. So let's pick him some eyes here first. Give him some eyes peeked out here. All right. So we don't want. What do we want here? What do we want? Kind of thinking maybe maybe these. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe these two. I dropped it twice now. Now I don't know where it went. Okay. I lost it. Yeah, I don't know where that went. It went a long ways away, apparently. Alright, well, we're going to pick different ones then. Because I just lost that one. Okay, let's try again. Okay. This eye just does not want to go under, does it? There we go. Okay, why is that not one to stick? Alright, eye's not sticking. Okay, so that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. We're going to have to do something different there. We will do something different. All right, I'm going to grab me a, a copper pen here. All right. So... Just get the black pen here. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna give him black eyes since I can't get the eyeballs to stick.
There we go. that dry will give me pretty much a little highlight in his eye. What are we thinking? I think that looks better. Ties in really good with the... with the leafing. No, there should be another one here. Now yeah, let's do some of these. There's like lines here on the tips. Let's do some lines here. There we go. around his little neck area right here. Yeah, we'll give him a gold highlight in his eye. Or copper. Keep saying gold, but this is copper. There he is. Oh, I like that much better. Oh, I like that, guys. What do you think? It ties in really good with the copper. So once he's cured completely, or I mean dried completely, I'm going to come in. And uh, probably coat the whole thing with some dragonfly glaze. Uh, I'll show you him tomorrow night when we do tomorrow night's video. But yeah, I'm just kind of brushing a little bit of this excess off anywhere. 
it's stuck everywhere but just a few spots where I had a little bit of excess. Yeah, pretty cute though. This stuff's actually pretty nice. I kind of like this. I was surprised his head came out intact. Alright guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time. Don't forget, I'm going to drop the link. I put it earlier in the video, but I'm also dropping the link tomorrow. Please go vote. I appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.